Hi guys, MPG, a founder of MPG International Forest Education. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to open an account with a broker. The first thing you need to do is download MetaTrader 4. Let me go to my Play Store and download MetaTrader 4. I'm just going to type in MT4. And there you go. It is... Um, downloaded i just have to open but alternatively i'll download meta trade of five because yeah still even if i show you like this some of you do not understand what i'm talking about so i'm downloading meta trade of five meta trade of four and five are you know one and the same i'd like to think but yeah i'm downloading meta trade of five and then i'm going to go to open a, an account with the broker I'm downloading MetaTrader 5, leaving it as is, you understand? There it is here. I'm leaving it as is. I'm going to go, go open a, um, an account with a broker. You understand? So let me type in fbs.com. I'll leave the link um, when I post when I post this video in our Telegram, free Telegram channel. And then I'm going to click on open account here. Open account. Um, by the way, this is a fully regulated broker, you understand? Fully regulated broker. FB, okay. This is my email address, another email address. Because if I use my, you know usual email address they're gonna detect that it's me and then say already registered you understand um okay opa matsuvani that's my full name register as a trader let's register as a trader register as a trader i'm using this one these are my email addresses. Register as a trader, Opus Otuma. Let's proceed. I'm showing you step by step, guys. I'm showing you step by step for those who, like, don't understand. And then this is a tab for demo accounts. As you can see, you can open a demo account. Um, on a real account, if you're a beginner, always start with maybe a micro account you understand if you have like ten dollars to start or even a cent account you understand you must start with a cent account uh but i'm i'm talking about beginners who already have been on demo accounts and you know understand what they are doing you can jump into real account but on a cent account or if you did enough work on a demo account, then you can jump in on a standard real account. Now you're going to start on a standard demo account right here. Standard demo account. I'm just going to click it and you're choosing the highest leverage. There's one is to 50, one is to 100, one is to 200, one is to 500, one is to 1000, one is to 2000. Choose the highest leverage, which is one is to 3000 so that your account can uh, be flexible you understand um yeah so the initial balance you're gonna start with uh maybe a hundred dollars understand because this is a, a demo account you mustn't put ridiculous amounts here you must put hundred dollars or ten dollars depending on what you'll be starting on your real account you understand this is just to show you how much uh, you would have made with your strategies or my signals or my strategies. You understand what I'm saying? So demo account first, guys. Demo account first and then you transition to a real account when you know what you're doing, when you understand what you're doing. You understand? So $100 initial balance, open account. Let's open the account. Uh, there you go. Um, okay. FBS agreement, whatever, whatever, all right. Um, double check your trading account information. Sure you keep your passwords 
in a safe place. We show them to you only once. Okay. Um, and then logging is my email. Okay, I, th I think this is these are logging details to my you know client area. When I when I log into this broker, I understand. Now the demo account I created is this one. MetaTrader login right here. MetaTrader login, MetaTrader password. So you're going to take these uh yeah, these credentials ne, on and go to login on MetaTrader 5. Now they gave me the server here, which means I'm going to search for FBS demo. FBS demo. I can just search for FBS and then it will appear demo, real, whatever. So I'm just going to copy this one. It's the login, right? I'm going to go to MetaTrader 5. Like I told you, download MetaTrader 5 and leave it like that. You understand? Um... Let's check. Let's check if it's MT5. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Standard MT5 account. Right. Now, the MT5 is going to um, automatically open a demo account for you. As you can see, the ridiculous amount, 100,000, whatever. You don't want to be trading with this types of accounts. Understand? Of amounts. You need to be trading with realistic money. Well, my hundred dollars ten dollars so that you can see if you would deposit that amount how much you'll be potentially making so manage accounts and then you're going to click on plus sign here okay let me show you let me not confuse you ne? i'm swiping here and then i'm clicking manage accounts and i'm clicking the plus sign here plus sign and i'm going to type in fbs like i told you the server is fbs right um is fbs demo so i'm gonna click fbs inc and then there is fbs demo there is fbs real fbs demo fbs demo login let's see and then i'm going to copy the password as well meta trader password copy copy the password over here log in and there you go all possible to hundred dollars demo account hundred dollars all possible to hundred dollars then i can trade you understand then i can trade i can trade and speculate whether the market is going up or is going down you understand what i'm saying so i think i'm just gonna add yeah uh, let me just add on that let's just say you on usdjpy on usdjpy and you believe let me pull out a bigger time frame you understand and you believe that usdjpy is going to fall it's going to fall probably let me check something here um it's going to fall up until maybe this level here this level here you're going to sell if you 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 believe that usdjpy is going to fall then you sell the market if you believe that usdjpy is going to go up it's going to gain value then you're buying the market you understand what i'm saying so let's just say i believe usdjpy is going to sell I'm just going to click on sell and then, okay, this is the lot size, by the way. This is the lot size. The volume, it's a volume basically where you, you know, um, dictate on how much you want to make, you understand? If it's 0 0.010, then you won't make as much as you put in, you put in uh, one lot size. But for this type of account, hundred dollars you must stick to 0 0.05 or 0 0.10 understand that's that's a better lot size understand that's a better lot size. it's volume you may do research about lot sizes 
and all that. And then here the column, this column is a SL. SL is a stop loss. Stop loss. Um, I think on the previous video I showed you how to set a stop loss and take profit. And then here the TP is a take profit. Take profit. You understand? So let me set my stop loss. Let me say I set my stop loss. Um okay, I'm going I'm gonna look at the chart. Yeah? I'm gonna look at the chart. Let me say I set my stop loss at because I'm selling, my stop loss must be above my entry point. You understand? Above the current market price, which is this. You understand? So let me say um my stop loss is going to be at 109,300. 109,300, right? I'm going to click here yeah, for a new order. Remember 0 0.05 or 0 0.010. My stop loss is going to be 103,300. And I'm going to sell. Sell has placed, you understand? The market will always start on a negative because we have this thing called spread. We have two lines here understand uh, it's the difference between ask um ask and bid price the loss is the difference between the points is the difference between uh the current market price and the ask price you understand what i'm saying so it'll always be start on a negative until it moves in a direction then it's going to be on profit so for a take profit there is my stop loss, by the way. There is my stop loss here. Remember, when you're selling, your stop loss must always be above. So you must predict your stop loss above. Stop loss means if the market reaches this level, this current market price here, if it reaches this level, it must automatically close, which means it went against you. You must automatically close. Otherwise, it may blow your account. It may continue to go up and blow your account. So, all right, so let's just say my take profit. Remember, your take profit must always be bigger than your stop loss so that you can maximize your profits and minimize your risks. You understand what I'm saying? So, let's see. Okay, let me check something. Okay, let me see. But by just viewing, you can see... Um. You can set your stop losses and take profits on the 10. Let me say my take profit, I'm thinking of putting it here. Here somewhere. Look at the cross, guys. Don't look at the lines. Look at the cross. Here somewhere. I'm thinking of putting it here somewhere. Okay, on 084, on, oh, on 108, 460. 108, 460. Somewhere here. At 108, 460. Um, so that my risk to reward ratio, it's it's a uh, it's a lot more. You understand? If I take multiple trades, if I lose three trades and win seven trades, I'm a profitable trader. I'm a guru. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, one o eight for sixty. Remember, your stop loss must always be uh, less than your take profit. I repeat, so that you can maximize your profits and minimize your risks so all right uh 108 for 6 i'm going to go to this uh trade right here i'm gonna click on this thing next to the tick understand second one from the left and then take profit is here one oh it's 108 for 60 somewhere there 108 for 60 then I'm going to click on modify. Now it's done. As you can see, my stop loss, it's above my entry points. For selling trades, it must always be above. And either way, if it's it's below, it wouldn't allow you to place any trades, understand? Or modify any trades. Yeah, because yeah, MetaTrader is not stupid. But yeah, as you can see, my stop loss, Um, let me see. Let me not confuse you about the pips and points, whatever, but I will just tell you what's the risk-to-reward ratio. Um, 
let's see let's see how many points here 171 versus 670 it's probably one is to four a rest to what ratio which means when i'm um taking trades maybe i got 10,000 rands i'm taking 10 trades uh one uh, stop loss is my stop loss is 1000 my take profit is 4000 so if it goes to hit my stop loss i lost 1000 i'm left with 9000 if it goes to hit my take profit um um i didn't lose anything i made 4000 you understand one single trade you must make a lot more than you lose in 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 a single trade you understand what i'm saying so that when you made when you won the trades you made uh four times three how much you made twelve thousand you understand what i'm saying when you won three trades you made twelve thousand when you lost three trades you lost three thousand you understand what i'm saying that's the game that's 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 how forex is guys you understand um yeah so basically that's it it doesn't need more examples or whatever i i i guess i guess you understand guys because um i tried my level best to explain to you um okay it's recording explain to you um the easiest way possible so that you can understand understand so yeah Hopefully, guys, you understand, and um, I don't know what the next video might be, uh, but I'll think of something, and then I'll post the video in the free channel. Remember, uh, to join me, just contact me on my WhatsApp number, 073-799-1776, and save my WhatsApp number so that you can see... Um, our WhatsApp status for our student results. Yeah, and some of the times my results, you understand? But my results shouldn't motivate you that much. You should be motivated by my student results to see if I'm a good teacher or not, you understand? We have a powerful strategy called MPG 0 to 7 figures, technical strategy, and another one called NPG 0 to 7 figures, uh, fundamental strategy very powerful strategies um they are beginner friendly works for all markets you understand high win rate um yeah and also we do offer 30 day signals and uh one year signals there are no lifetime signals because i think in a year uh you would have bought if you bought like um one year signals you would have you, you will buy the strategy and get to create your own signals you understand signals are an indication whether to buy or sell the markets like i like i showed you here if you believe it's going to sell if you believe it's going to buy understand and strategies are a set of rules which we use um in the market the strategy i invented myself by the way strategies i invented myself i decided to call them zero to seven uh figures forex strategies so those are set of rules I use um, to determine whether the market is selling or, 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 or buying. If you join my signals, you'll be getting uh, signals based on those strategies, you understand? But it's better if you have strategies by yourself because I'm a busy person. Sometimes I'm, a, I'm busy and there's an opportunity in the market. You are not busy probably. You could have saw that opportunity understand you could have saw that opportunity and entered and capitalized from the market so yeah thank you guys um i hope you all understand